Assalamu alaikum what up to cats you guys Josh here back with another video hope you're doing well today I'm going to teach you a life hack that will literally force you to live life to your fullest I'm not talking about it's going to coerce you a little bit it's going to push you maybe motivate you nope it is literally going to force you to live life to your fullest and reach your full potential and this life hack can literally be applied to anything I'm talking about if you have an argument with your spouse if you don't have enough time for your kids, if you're lacking in spirituality and doing good deeds, I'm telling you, this life hack can be applied to anything. Now today I brought you to Avalon Hospice. And you might be asking yourself, why would you bring me to a hospice facility? I'm gonna get to that in just a moment. I do wanna address a couple things. Firstly, I know what you're thinking, dude. You're like, Josh, why do you keep going to places where you're gonna get kicked out, security's gonna show up, and it's gonna ruin the shop? Well, I actually took the liberty of calling these people today and saying, hey, I'm a YouTuber, this is what I'm trying to do, do I have permission to shoot at the facility? And they said, yeah, go for it, man. So, alhamdulillah, we ain't got to worry about the fuzz today, inshallah. Secondly, this is not going to be some morbid, uh, remembered death, uh, you know, hack, right, or uh, strategy to help you get motivated to go after your life. We're going to look at things in a completely new perspective. Now, the reason why I brought you to Avalon Hospital or Avalon Hospice is because these people face their mortality every single day. Now, ultimately, it is Allah Zewa Jail who will determine when these people will return back to their Lord. But no doubt, man, these doctors, they can guess with relative certainty that if you have a terminal illness, cancer, or something else, man, while they be love, that your days are numbered, man. Your days are numbered. And so these people are constantly faced with their own mortality. Whereas us, you know, we try to sidestep it, man. We try to ignore it, push it off, get it out of our minds, and think that we're just going to live forever. You know, there is a hadith that the Prophet ﷺ said on the authority of Abu Huraira, which Albani, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, and many others have uh, authenticated as Sahih, where the Prophet ﷺ said, My Ummah they will live between 60 and 70 years. That is the average lifespan of my Ummah, is between 60 and 70 years old, and most people will not live after that. So the life hack that I feel you're missing to where you don't have to be in a hospice to remember your own death and to remember that you have to get after your life, man. You have to take care of your life, set forth good deeds for the hereafter, and still crush this dunya as well, is you're lacking the Sioux breakdown. Now I'm going to use my handy dandy Master Potter Life Planner, use the notes that I made for today's video to break down exactly what the Sioux breakdown is or the sense of urgency breakdown. And it goes as such, man. You know, if we use this breakdown according to the Hadith, right? So I'm 30 years old, for example. And if let's say, let's say, Allah is generous, and Allah is always generous, but He gives me, inshallah, 40 more years. According to the Hadith, I live to be 70, inshallah. There's a number of ways that we can break this down. One way is that we look at it as go, subhanAllah, that means that I only have 40 more summers. 40 more summers, man. I only have 40 more springs to enjoy. I only have 40 more falls to enjoy bow hunting, man. And when you think about it in that perspective, you say, SubhanAllah, dude, I only have 40 left. And if you're older, you got even less, inshallah. But even further than that, man, that's not the real life hike. That's just one thing that we can use to actually gain perspective into how little time we really have. But if we base what I just said, I'm 30 years old, and Allah says that I'm going to live till I'm 70, well, this is how we break it down. Let's say, that you get an average of eight hours of sleep a night, right? Eight hours of sleep. And let's say that you work an average of eight hours a day or 40, 40 hours a week. How much time does that leave you? And let's say, obviously with COVID, things are a bit different, but in general, you have a 30 minute commute one way and 30 minute commute to, you know, back, right? To and from work. That's another hour. That's 17 hours of your day, right? Sleeping, commuting, and working. That leaves you with what? Seven hours to live your life and to design your life. That's not even including Salah, 
eating, using the bathroom, getting dressed, brushing your teeth, taking a shower, running errands, whatever, dude. Having intercourse with your spouse or all these different things. We're not even including any of that. Time wasted. We're simply saying that just your sleep and your work and your commute alone has taken 17 hours of your life, dude. And if we actually break that down even more, if we times that by 365 days a year, you know what that means? You got 2,555 hours to get your life together, to go after your dreams, to make things happen, to sacrifice, to set good deeds forth for the hereafter. But you know what that really means? That means you have 106 and a half days, dude. You don't got 365 days. You ain't got 40 years, dude. You have, 100 and, uh, you have 106 days a year. Again, not even including the Salah and all these other things that we, that we should do and the things that we just as normal everyday people got to do, like run errands and brush our teeth and take a shower and use the bathroom, right? And we times that by 40 years, that leaves us with, with 4,260 days to live life to the max of your deen and your dunya. Now you know what that tells me? That tells me you ain't got time to fear failure. You don't have time to fear other people's opinions who have no credibility. You literally have no time, dude, for things that suck your energy and are time wasters because you don't have enough time. You don't have as much time as you believe you really do. Break down the math. Do what I just did and see, add the hours of Salah, add the hours of eating, track your habits, track how much time you're wasting, track how much time you use to grocery shop and how much time you use to pick out an outfit or do your hair, which is fine, you can look good, I'm not saying that, but when we're spending hours and hours and hours of our lives on these things that aren't giving us a whole lot of ROI, man, like dude, you just don't have as much time as you think you do. ولا تكونوا كالذين نسوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسقون. Now, if you've been paying attention and thinking critically about what I'm telling you, then right now you're probably feeling a deep sense of sorrow, regret, and shame over lost and wasted time. And if you do, well, you only have one or two options going forward. Now your first option is use that pain to your advantage. Take that pain and use it as fuel. Use it and tell yourself, enough is enough, man. Today's the day that I'm gonna fully commit to going after whatever I want, inshallah. Or you can be like Bob. See, Bob here, Bob, he wears a mask, but not because he's afraid of COVID. You see, Bob wears a mask because he's trying to mask his emotions. He's trying to mask all the pain that I'm fitting to put him through. And maybe you do the same. You see, you can use that pain, this regret that you're feeling, and use it to push you forward. Or you can just keep doing what you're doing. You can ignore it. You can mask it with entertainment, other time wasters, and live the rest of your life and your days doing absolutely nothing. Let's see what happens to Bob, shall we? Don't you worry, Bob. I'm an expert. Oh man, that is definitely gonna leave a mark. Now, if you don't wanna end up like our friend Bob here, then I want you to answer two simple yet very profound questions. And the first one is, if life were perfect 12 months from today, what would that look like? And I want you to not put any limitations on yourself. None. Ask yourself the question. If life were perfect 12 months from today, 
what would that look like, man? And I want you to put a 15 minute timer on because I want you to speak from your heart and not from your head, all right? When you put this time limit of 15 minutes, that means that you're gonna completely disregard what everyone else's opinion for your life is. And once you complete that, I want you to ask another question and that is, what do I wanna do every day? And it may sound like the same question, but it's deeper. It's a deeper question. And really asking yourself, what, what do I want to do every day of my life? Now, just a couple of days ago on Thursday was Nasra, my wife, and my date night. And alhamdulillah, it was my opportunity. It was my day to choose what we do. And this is what I had us do for date night. I had my wife take out some paper, take out a pen, and answer these two questions. Put on the 15 minute timer, and I made her think with her heart and not with her head. And alhamdulillah, we were using the You Are the Master Potter of Your Life Life Planner. This is the Master Potter Life Planner, alhamdulillah. 118 pages, which isn't important. What is important is this is a reminder. This is a trigger. This is a refresher. That whenever someone tries to steal your energy, steal your time, steal you away from those limited days that you have to live your perfect life, according to you, within the bounds of the Sunnah, of course, in Islam, that you are the master potter of your life. Just like clay can be transformed and molded into anything, you were created out of clay. Allah Zawajal created both you and I from clay, which means that you and I can both transform and mold ourselves and our destinies and our lives into anything that we want. So this is a great reminder, and alhamdulillah, if you want to hit that first link down in the description below, it's going to get you an extra 10% off this already amazing, affordable book, man. Alhamdulillah, you can use it as a journal, you can use it as a uh, to-do list, to jot down your thoughts, you know, just a, a brain dump, you can use it for whatever you want, man, writing your goals down, answering these questions, Alhamdulillah, hit that first link. Now, once you complete these two questions, what I want you to do is ask yourself, what can I do right now within the next 24 hours? And it, you should be doing it immediately, but for whatever reason, if you can't, within the next 24 hours, what is one thing? Because you need momentum. What is one thing that you can do for each thing that you list, right? Everything that you list. What would life look like if, if it were perfect 12 months from now? What is one thing you can do in each of those categories to get that momentum to ensure that you're living that perfect life 12 months from today, inshallah. Now, if and when you decide to answer these questions, and you actually make a real commitment to yourself and to your family that you're going to change your life and their lives forever, it's not going to be smooth sailing from here on out. You're going to still deal with overthinking, fear, procrastination, laziness, forgetfulness, and a host of other things. Low self-esteem, trauma that you've dealt with, uh, that, you ha that you've experienced as a child that you haven't dealt with, and a host of so many other illnesses, emotional, mental, etc. So I've created a playlist, man, alhamdulillah, covering so many of these topics. So check out this playlist as soon as you're done with this video and find the things that are specific to you. You know what's wrong with you, man. You know that you're lazy. You know that you're procrastinating. You know that your fear of other people's opinions are holding you back, that you've listened to the wrong people, people who aren't credible with regards to what you're pursuing in life. Like I said on the live stream today, I am not taking fitness advice from someone who's never been in the gym. I'm not taking financial advice from someone who's dead broke. I'm not taking marriage advice from someone who cannot hold down a steady relationship. And neither should you, man. And so I want you to remember this hack, right? Remember the Sue breakdown, the sense of urgency breakdown. Remember it. Every time that someone tries to take you away and take your family away from the perfect life, from the greatest life and the greatest potential and living life to the fullest, remember the Sue breakdown, man. You ain't got time to worry about their opinions. You ain't got time to worry about fear of failure. You don't have time, dude, period. We've established that. And with that being said, guys, that's the video. If you got value, drop your boy a like down below because it truly does help the channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I'm dropping two new videos every single week, every Monday and every Thursday, plus two live streams every week. Alhamdulillah, and you don't want to miss it. 
Until then, thank you so much for watching. Zach LeClaire and Belka Fikum, as always, stop stressing yesterday, stop fearing tomorrow, make today great, and I'll see you in that next one. And it's gonna affect the marriage, you know what I mean? Yeah, because now I'm not chased, now I'm, you know, this is the thing that really turns me on, and you're not doing it for me, and that's causing a rift in the bedroom, outside the bedroom. It, which leads to, unfortunately,